From his reputation, not many would believe that over the last decade, Nick has been involved in golf development. You like that one. <laughs> Under the Faldo Enterprises banner, Team Faldo and the Faldo Series has nurtured up to 4,000 of the world's most promising youngsters. All right, keep rolling. Find some more golfers. Toodaloo. It, the series is in 15 countries now. We're pursuing right now a, you know, a glo major global sponsor to take it literally global. And that was... so who's funding these kids on this? Well, I have to raise, you know, I do uh, fundraising dinners, that sort of thing. We have sponsors on board. The RNA have, have always been involved with us, the European Tour. This is my giving back to, to golf, of what golf has given me. So if I can create some opportunity. I've helped golfers onto the tour. Uh, they become tour winners. Just make back swings like this, just from there. And there's always See, time well to help one or two less promising right. hopefuls. And then you pull down with your, just your arms to start, and then you all the way through your belly. There you go. Let's do that. Hold a knee, turn and whack it. See what happens. Oh, hello, Vicar. Hold the phone. We have a golfer. <laughs> Good. I think I should quit it's that lesson yeah, there. It's always the best thing. It's Thanks for the lesson. Quit, quit <laughs> like a lot of good-looking young sportsmen, of course, you could hardly blame Faldo if he didn't enjoy being talked about by some regular members of the golf crowd. What about the dangers of uh, too many attractive girls hanging around? I haven't noticed that so far. <laughs> no, I don't. That's, uh, that's, you can make it what you want. If you, if you want a lot of girls, and whatever, you go looking and you'll find them easy enough at golf tournaments. But... Uh, at the moment, I'm uh, more interested in getting somewhere first in my golf and get myself established. But once established, temptation did prove strong. Nick's turbulent love life is well documented. He's been married three times, but he remains extremely close to his three adult children. Son Matthew was with him at the Ryder Cup. And he's also spending a lot of time with his five-year-old daughter from his most recent marriage. But Nick accepts that he may have sacrificed his relationships for golf. I've always been pretty honest, you know, day one, I'd say, well, you know, we live my life and, and come in and support come me, along bit, me. Come along with the ride and come and enjoy it as much as we can. But, they, but things happen along the way that maybe you want to change. But then if you, you're still in your career and you still think, I always thought I was honest. I said, well, you know, one day I will stop and I will go to the river and live in the cottage and be very happy with that. But right now, when I'm in the middle of my career, I've only got this window. I can't pick it up at 60 and say, I'll have another go. Yeah. Um, so Our golf was a nightmare to live with. Sure, some guys can be bare, some, some maybe not. Um, Could you leave your troubles on the course, or did you...? I, I was fairly good, but probably not. But I was more... No, I was... I could leave it, but I was always... Like I I was always engrossed, always in my little golfing mode. I have a very enviable ability to be able to be completely focused, which is great on the golf course, but maybe <laughs> at home, maybe not. So you're when you're a little bit engrossed. And I actually said that at the Ryder Cup. So I said, look, if I get in that mode, then come and poke me with a bloody stick. Did you get in that mode? No, I didn't. I said, look, I do have this ability. To, it may look as if I'm looking right through you, but I'm not. So come over and say, oi. Please don't be scared of me. Yeah, don't, yeah, just, uh, and it, everything was great. We had, a, we had a great time. And so the scene was set for the 37th Ryder Cup in Valhalla. 11 appearances as a player, the top point scorer in the event's history. On paper, he was the natural choice. The wildcard exclusions of stalwarts Montgomery and Clark in favor of Casey and Poulter caused a stir. But Nick led a European side defending three successive wins who started as overwhelming favourites. Trailing going into the final day singles, Nick loaded the biggest names at the top and back end of the order in case it came down to the wire. At one stage it could have gone either way. But in the end, America eased to victory and the knives were out. Bernard Gallagher, a three-time European champion, didn't agree with uh, Faldo's gamble in the singles. Colin Montgomery has criticised Nick Faldo's tactics on the final day of the Ryder Cup. Certain decisions would have been changed and, and uh, I think we're all aware of that. <laughs>